Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. I'm just going to do a quick little video. I want to show you how effective a standard angle bench plane can be on end grain. We're often taught that uh, that's something to be left to the low angle planes. I beg to differ. So I'm going to use a uh, Wood River 5.5 jack plane. I'm just putting a fresh edge on this using my 16,000 Shapton. And then I'll use the Charlesworth ruler trick to polish a little back bevel on the back. This takes a couple of seconds. I've got a big thick piece of eastern maple in there, end grain facing up. I've cut a chamfer on the back side in preparation for this so that I don't blow fibers out on that back edge. Wipe off all the moisture. Put the chip breaker on. I don't worry too much about how close it is. I probably am somewhere around 32nd of an inch from the edge. Snug that up. Get that water off my bench. Make sure there's no debris between the back of the blade and the face of the frog. Put that in. Get the blade parallel to the sole. I find it easier if you're looking at a light colored background when you do this. Now once it's close, I'm going to retract the blade fully. I want to start planing with the blade all the way in. Okay, so I've got my chamfer. Now I'm going to start planing. And while I'm planing, I'm going to advance the blade slightly. And I do that by spinning the adjuster knob in a clockwise rotation with my index finger. All the while I'm planing. It's one of the big advantages, I think, to using a bevel down plane, particularly if you're trying to pre-finish pieces and avoid sanding. Now I want to watch to see where the first bit of shaving comes in. It's coming pretty much in the middle of the in the middle of the uh, plane, so that means my blade, if it isn't perfectly parallel to the sole, it's really close. Now I'll put. A, I'm going to advance the blade out a little bit more so we can get a little. Thicker shaving. So this is what you can expect using a standard bench plane on end grain. And then if you come over here and inspect the surface, looks pretty good. And if you really do the geometry, I do the math on low angle planes. They typically sit with a bedding angle of uh, 12 degrees, but because the bevel is up, you have to factor in the primary bevel, which is 25. So that's 37 degrees, and then most people sharpen with micro bevels. So from 37, you're adding another three, five, six degrees. You're in the low 40s. Well, I'm planing at 45 degrees with a standard bench plane, so it's not that far off. It's the reason why I use and promote the uh, traditional bevel down plane. That's a Wood River five and a half, fairly new offering from Woodcraft. I think it's probably, I think it, without a doubt, it's the best all-around plane you can buy today. And for the money, it's half the price of the competition. It may not have all the spit polish, but it has everything that you need, and it's got some features that you won't find in other planes. We'll leave that to another video. Anyway, pick one up and try it. There you go. See ya.